हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू माय टॉक ऑन एन एनाटॉमी बेस्ड टेक्निक फॉर ट्रांसुतल रिसेक्शन ऑफ द मिडल ऑफ द प्रोस्टेट आई वांट टू टॉक टू यू इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट द एंडोस्कोपिक टेक्निक पार्ट द वंस यू हैव नोन द एनाटॉमी ऑफ द प्रोस्टेट एंड मिडल लोब इन डिटेल बाय यूजिंग द मेथड्स व्हिच आई स्पोक इन द फॉर्मर वीडियो you know just like an army operation where you want to know everything about the target so here you know everything about the middle lobe by the 3d mri and now you have to perform the transuterine section as i said in my former video that during the entire process of the section of the middle lobe you have to maintain a very very good endoscopic vision for that have a good flow irrigant always use continuous flow sheath you may ask your anesthetist to give the patient hypotensive anesthesia and whenever you resect one or two chip of the middle lobe and if you notice a pumping bleeder control it then and there so follow these three principles and then what is the way in my view to resect a large middle lobe here is the illustration of the case of a middle lobe which which has a large middle lobe as well as a large posterior lobe as well the first step is that on the side of the middle lobe on both sides of the middle lobe you dig the groove in endoscopic vision if you see center at the 6 o'clock between 4 and 5 o'clock on one side and between 7 and 8 o'clock on the other side you create two longitudinal furrows in the video that you see here a groove is being created on my left the advantages of this groove creation is number 1 the bleeders which are coming from the lateral side and supplying the middle lobe can be seen and can be controlled second when you deepen the groove up to the level of the muscle fibers of the bladder neck you can go into bladder easily and can see the position of uretic orifice the next step would be that whatever is the top part of the middle lobe you resect that first don't resect the middle lobe whole completely resect the top two third which is protruding into bladder lumen and because you have cut two lateral grooves it has partly devascularized the middle lobe in this video you will see that you can resect the top of the middle lobe quickly chip by chip and it is not bleeding too much because you have controlled the bleeders from lateral side already
The third step would be that when you resected the two third of middle lobe and now you want to resect the base part of the middle lobe and it is only during the base part of resection you create injuries to trigone or ureteric orifices or you even make sometimes of trigonal perforation. So here I suggest that you come below the bladder neck, park your tip of resectoscope at the verum antennum and resect the tissue just above the veru in the posterior lobe. So you kind of, you, you kind of create a crater there. Now let me explain to you by this animation. This is the lateral view and as you dissect the middle lobe first, dissect like that, top part, top part, top part. And when you have to dissect the bladder part, you advance your septoscope towards the bladder neck, tilt it a bit and then dissect one, two, three, four, whatever chips. Don't dissect this last bit of middle lobe because as you now throw your loop in, in your attempt to dissect this, this loop can injure the posterior wall of bladder. So what I suggest is that you withdraw your receptoscope, park it at the level of Veru Montanum, and then in the posterior lobe, resect this tissue bit by bit like this to kind of create crater. And when you have created this crater in the posterior lobe, the bladder neck will fall into this crater like that. Maybe if I show you in this way, this is the effect the section of the posterior lobe will create. Now when this bladder neck falls towards you, the tissue or the middle lobe gets lifted up and then you can put your loop here and resect it easily. So this is the third step of resection of the middle lobe. I hope you understood all these three steps, one, two and three in your endoscopic method of resection of the middle lobe. Next time, when you handle a case of large middle lobe, please use this knowledge. And thank you very much for your time and listening to this presentation.